Good evening, everyone. I'm Paula Donovan. I'm the co-director of AIDS Free World. I am hardly a giant in this field or any field, um, but uh, for the past several years, I have grown taller standing on the shoulders of some of the exceptional people in this room and beyond um, through our work on disability and uh, HIV, trying to link the two. It's been AIDS Free World's great privilege and pleasure this year to uh, organize and and uh, bring together, <clears throat> along with Disabled People's International and uh, Gallaudet University, 23 young leaders from 20 countries around the world who attended a one-day forum to uh, share experiences and ideas and pick up some tricks of the trade of advocacy and activism the day before the International AIDS Conference started and have been acting, uh, have been participating in the AIDS Conference um, all all week as uh, as delegates, um, advocates, activists, learners, and teachers. Um, most of us who go to these AIDS conferences year after year after year have learned to bring a spare suitcase. So you have the one suitcase with your clothes and the one empty suitcase to fill with the reams of material that uh, that you'll find all over the International AIDS Conference, enough to fill a, a landfill. Um, and. Uh, and basically, if you you have to focus because there's just you could bring home a library of material about HIV and AIDS and every single aspect of it, and you, you need to focus. And so you try to you know to go to the AIDS conference and think, all right, I'm going to pick up materials about this particular area of interest to me. Now, if the young people who came to this year's AIDS conference, each of them coming for the first time to an AIDS conference, some of them traveling outside their their home countries for the first time. If they had come with an extra suitcase and decided to fill it with material to teach themselves more about HIV AIDS and disability, the intersections between the two, and to pick up data and research and knowledge and lessons learned and so forth about disability, they would go home with an empty suitcase, basically. So the guide is just so incredibly important. This thematic guide gives them something to put in their suitcase and though it will be lightweight, it will be extraordinarily important because in this guide is a, a great deal of what uh, of what they need to know to go back to their home countries and to pr continue to work as leaders. I just want to see, say one very very sort of simplistic almost thing about uh, about the privilege we've had meeting the 23 young people and maybe if, if so, most of them are here if you can just raise your hands the the delegates from the the HIV. AIDS and Leadership Forum. Yes. So uh, what they are, are is a, a living example of the other side of discrimination that we don't give enough um, thought to and that is that when we discriminate and exclude we're cheating ourselves. I mean we have met at, he, we at AIDS Free World and, and DPI and Gallaudet this week met 23 extraordinarily funny and brilliant and creative and active and uh, strong and powerful and thoughtful uh, new young people. And that's their part of the 15% of the world that the rest of us are just not getting to meet, not getting to interact with, not getting to learn from. So exclusion is a dreadful human rights violation for the people who are excluded, but we're also cheating ourselves when we push anybody to the side. And and so the young people have taught us that lesson in spades this week. And. Um, so please wish them, join me in wishing them luck through the rest of the conference. They're having a press conference tomorrow. They've come up very, very quickly formed a coalition. They had not met one another before, uh, before Saturday. And they very quickly joined together and they have written their own declaration. At the AIDS conference, the 25,000 delegates will be issuing a, um, a one-page Washington, D.C. declaration. And these 23 young people have put together the Washington, D.C.
ABC declaration plus this one inclusive of the other 15%. And they'll be launching it, uh, not launching it, but sort of introducing it at a, at a small press conference tomorrow morning and just just uh, making sure that everybody knows that, that they are here. Thank you very much.